Okay, so we are going to continue part two of plant life, uh, life cycles. And this is called So Many Stages. So we're gonna explore a little bit about how this works. Seeds on the go. Living things experience a life cycle or changes that happen in order from beginning of their lives to the time they die. Plants have life cycles with certain stages. You'll learn about these stages and then build a model of a flowering plant's life cycle. Look at the dandelions growing around this backyard. The plants are in different stages of the life cycle. Select the spots to discover more about the life stages of the dandelion. A seed begins the life cycle of a new dandelion plant. Okay, so those are seeds over there. During germination, the dandelion sprouts from a seed. After the dandelion seed germinates, it grows into a young adult plant. Eventually, the dandelion becomes an adult plant. It begins to develop a flower. The flower produces seeds. A strong wind can blow the seeds off. The adult plant may reproduce many times. At the end of its life cycle, the plant dies. Now that you've learned about the different stages, it's your turn to put them in the correct order. And luckily for you, I clicked them in the right order. So what's going to be first? Seeds. And then two is going to be young adult. No, it's not going to be young adult. It's germination. All right. And then young adult, then adult, and then death. Nope, we forgot reproduction. Okay. Nice. With the right soil, water, and light, the dandelion seeds will germinate and the life cycle will start again. Many plants start their life as seeds. The seeds have a small amount of food stored in them. This stored food will feed the seedling that sprouts until it grows enough to make its own food. When a seed germinates, the root, the first stem, and leaves come out of the seed. When the leaves reach sunlight, the plant starts making food for itself. During this stage, the plant grows more roots and stems. As it grows, the stem grows and expands. Sometimes, stems grow by branching out. As the plant grows into an adult, it may form more stems, roots, and leaves. Flowering plants, such as dandelions, also make flowers. During the nighttime, or when it rains, dandelions close. When the sun is shining, they open. Adult flowers produce seeds. After the head closes for the last time, the seeds form inside. As the plant reopens, a fuzzy ball of seeds appears and pushes the dead flower petals out. The ends of each seed are like a parachute. This allows the wind to blow them around for many miles. And we have the animals. If animals brush past them, these seeds may be carried away too. So we found the answer to our question from yesterday. The seeds blow away and that's why the field got so full is because the wind in that video kept on carrying them around. All right, so well, let's answer these questions and then we can move on to the mini project we have.
Does the flowering plant's life cycle always happen in the same order? Select the correct words to complete the statement. Plant's life cycle happens in the same or different order every time. It's gonna be the same, right? It'd be weird if it died first. Order. Every time at different times. Every time, right? It must blank for a plant to make seeds. It must change for a plant to make seeds. Think about what must happen for plants to reproduce. So it must repeat. All right. Draw and explain the stages of the dandelion life cycle. How does your diagram prov provide evidence for how the dandelion can begin to grow in places where they did not appear, appear before? All right, so this is your assignment for today. So if we are going to do this, we need to draw a picture, right? So we were gonna, gonna draw the life cycle of your dandelion. I'm gonna start with the grass because there's grass in the whole thing. All right, and it starts off as a little deep. Then that seed goes underground and it germinates. So there's a little bit of plant here. And then that seed eventually turns into a young adult. All right, so we got, I know dandelion leaves are a little bit tricky. The young adult has a little bit of yellow, but not a ton. Okay. And then it turns into a full adult. And because it's a full adult, we got to have more. Okay. And then the last part, or not the last part, but close to the last part is when it turns into an old lady and gets white hair. <laughs> so that's my lady with the old long hair that's white. And then the very last thing is where it, so it doesn't have anything on it anymore. So what you're gonna do is you're also gonna go in here and you're going to write what each stage is. So this is a seed. And here we have germination, germination. And then here we have a young adult. And here we have the adult. And here we have um, produce, produces seeds. Okay. And then we have here, we have death. Okay. So your life cycle should look something like this. And after you're done with that, you're going to have to answer the question, right? So what was the question again? Let's look. Our question was, draw and explain the stages of a life cycle. How does your diagram provide evidence for how dandelions can begin to grow in places where they did not grow before? Okay, so if we're gonna do that, we are going to say, all right, so we gotta write, I'm gonna change the color. This diagram provides evidence that Dan dandelions can grow where they were not before.
because it shows us how the seeds have spread. Which, how do the seeds spread with dandelions? Do animals eat them and then poop them out somewhere else? Not how it works, right? Like for this, the wind blows the seeds to other places. All right. So I want a drawing and on your drawing of the dandelion life cycle. Hopefully it's prettier than this. <laughs> um, I want you to explain how your diagram explains how dandelions can grow in places we've never seen before. All right, guys, that's great. And that's our assignment for today. And I will see you later.